Hello, my darlings, and welcome. So sorry for the late start. I was I'm running late, and I haven't got everything ready for the stream. So we mixing our palette. What do you guys think of my new background? I got this for Christmas. Hi, Lisa and Fizzle Sticks and Red Lorraine. Ailey, Elena's here, Jen, Fearless. Hi, Helpful Natural, you made it on time. Hi, Viola, hello everybody. So this is my new piece of wood. I asked for a giant piece of wood for Christmas. <laughs> I love it because it's kind of a dark background, but it doesn't have the lines and patterns in it that my other one did that was a bit distracting. And it's not shiny, so my lights don't leave a circular glare. It's nice and matte. So I'm loving it. So I didn't get my palette mixed. Oh, excuse me. Didn't get my palette mixed up yet. I was going to try and do it early, but I ran out of time. Hi, Cherise, and who did I miss? Laura, Julia, Texas Cat. So I'm just going to be mixing up my palette to start. Hi, Lisa. Who else did I miss? Therese says, I love the Morgan, so excited. I have to admit the Morgan is not a topic I knew much about. So I did actually do a little bit of research on her before I, I started. Hi, Peckish. Ailey asks, did I see that you're going to do a video on Embolk also? Yes, I will be. Different ways of celebrating the different traditions of Embolk. I did one a couple of years ago, but I noticed that a lot of witchy creators are putting out one every year because YouTube will not um, serve up old videos. And so even though I have something on a topic, I have to make another one if I want any views or anybody new to see it. <laughs> okay, so we have a skin tone. We have some black and some Payne's gray and some browns here. I go in with some reds. Put 
put a little burgundy in my red. I like to use really watered down colors. So I like to make a second palette instead of dipping straight from the pan. And I link to um, all of the things that I'm using today. So if you're wondering about the, the ceramic palette or basically anything I'm using. trying to decide if I want to put purple in and I think I do but I ran out of little spots so I'll just throw some over here in the corner and we'll see how it works out just so I have some So um, I wanted to tell you to, before we get started that I have been working with Red Lorraine at uh, Scarlet Nymph to come up with a palette of watercolor paints for each one of the um, goddesses I'm painting this year. So we're going to have 12 goddess palettes, one every single month relating to the goddess uh, that's going to be made into the artwork. So the first Wednesday of every month, the um, Art Witch Wednesday, is going to be dedicated to a different goddess. And today's goddess is the Morrigan. This is our artwork. And then this painting will be um, turned into the Pen Pal card for my uh, pen pal patrons. And of course I already had to dip into her um, palette because I needed to test the colors. So I've, you know, kind of destroyed it. So what I did was I made a quick video of me showing the product before it got destroyed with me um, painting. So I'm gonna show you that to you really quickly. Hey, am I back? Oh, no, I'm not. Darn it. Thought I was back for a second. Hey, y'all, I can see a chat at least. Oh, I think I'm back. I see myself doing things. Yes. Yes, I'm back. We have confirmation. Lisa, thank you. Mercury is always in retrograde. Mercury has no power over me. But yes, I agree. It is the planet of communication. <laughs> and the internet is how we communicate these days. So I guess it's... Uh, 
Sorry, I had a little bit of trouble um, watching some YouTube videos this afternoon as well. So I think me and YouTube are not having a good day. Might get in a little closer with the camera. I went like that. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad I didn't have to reschedule the stream because I wasn't sure everybody would want to do a Friday. I'm so glad we're back. So yeah, ignore that. Red, thank you, Red Lorraine, for telling people that I was considering Friday, but yay, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my background to get started and we'll just get started. <laughs> I had a little purple on this brush. So yellow and purple make brown. It's not really what I wanted. Okay. Want a little bit of yellow in the background here just to warm it up. Oh my goodness. Happy New Year. Happy New Stream. I'm so glad it's working. I had a little trouble earlier this afternoon, so I just thought maybe it was a one-time thing, but maybe, maybe it wasn't. So have, hello, everybody who just arrived, and apologies to everybody who left thinking it was over. I thought it was over, too, for a second there. So what has everybody been doing in the new year? Has anybody made any plans or resolutions? I am doing a video on my, um, my new year's vision board. So you guys will see all my resolutions and my plans for the year coming up in a video pretty soon. Amazon Prime Video is acting up too, according to Nambia. So maybe it's, is it YouTube and it's not me? Maybe. Oh, I almost put that in my coffee. Just gonna warm up the background. I was thinking what we would do is over this yellowish background, maybe we could put some red trees. So kind of give the idea of nature back there, but also maybe the feeling of a battleground as the Morrigan is associated with battle. She's a psychopomp. She she is a seer, a seeress, see, seestress can predict the death, the f your future, and the deaths of uh, soldiers, warriors. So very much associated with battle. We're going to be using a lot of red and um, black. So I can just kind of scribble a little bit of this paint because I know I'm going to be using dark colors over. So I'm just starting with my lighter colors. And just work up from light to dark today. That's my plan. That should always be my plan, but sometimes I go a, a little I don't think it through very much, but I want to layer these. I'm going to do some layering. Okay, that's a good background. That's a good yellow. Helpful Natural said they could come back on Friday, so that's awesome. Just in case I ever have to reschedule a stream, 
I can't do, I can't do Thursday, so Fridays would be good. Okay, so we have our background. Now I'm going to try to go in with a little bit of a skin tone. I'm going to make her super pale. Helpful Natural asks, could the bad weather in Cali be causing hiccups with the internet? Yeah, we've definitely been having a lot of rain. Not, it's not crazy weather in comparison to some other parts of the country, but we're not prepared for weather. We don't have the infrastructure to, uh, to weather storms around this joint. She's kind of a dark goddess, so I'm going to try and make her kind of a pale and then make her hair darker. There we go, got some face filled in there. What I was trying to say when everything went kablooey was Forest and Fawn, I love your new branding and your new channel name. And I was trying to tell everybody that Forest and Fawn used to be Lipstick Legion Craft, if you guys recognize that name. So definitely check out her channel and her new branding. And all of her new content where she's gonna, she did a video on all the content that she's gonna be doing coming in the new year so we're still looking forward to um, witchcraft wednesdays and spell sundays so some of my favorite content lisa starting a new job with a virtual school interesting therese new job everybody's getting new jobs wonderland red is due next month with my fourth little girl congratulations Lisa has never felt this positive for a new year. Force and Fawn says there was 15 minutes of black screen in my video. It's definitely not you. Okay. Unicorns and Rainbows Crafting Addiction says they only have one resolution right now to get their baby girl out of foster care. That's a great resolution. Oh, Helpful says Northern California is really getting slammed with rain. We ha we already had it. it. Then it went up to you, I guess. Okay, let's see. I was going to do her hair red, but I think I've changed my mind. I might do black. So I'm going to do a little purple, I think, maybe in her background. Just to kind of fill in. Um just a pale pale purple I think black hair will look better with the black ravens and it'll be more of a contrast so I think I'm gonna go with black I hope you all at least were able to see my um, video on the on the goddess palette before the the stream crashed. So I'm building color as I go. So I'm going in real light with everything first. So everything looks super pale. I think it'll be fun to do a time lapse of the painting though, because as if I do everything pale to start, then as I build up the colors, it starts to really start popping in. Oh no, it, it crashed right before the video played. Oh no. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. What I had mentioned to you is that um, I already pulled out some colors from the special palette and dug into it and tested it. So it looks a little bit beat up right now. So I wanted to show you the palette before it got, uh, <laughs> it got used. So I'm going to show you a real quick video of what 
what the goddess palette looks like because we worked really hard on these. Let me find that again. There it is. Okay, so here's the palette you um, would receive. It's, um, it's packaged with a lovely a wax closure that has a, a raven stamped into it. And these are all the um, paints and swatches to show you the glitter and the color changing. You can see the red to green color changes and some of the glitters. There's a, a solid black and then there's a black glitter as well. And here's the actual palette. There are um, six half pans and three quarter pans, I think is what it's called. And they're stamped with little ravens. They're really cute. So I wanted to make sure you guys got to see the product um, before I got it all wet and uh, dug my brushes into it. <laughs> and I think that's it. And we're back. <laughs> so that is the Morgan palette that we worked on together, me and Scarlet Nymph. And there is a discount code in the description for 25% off any of their um, watercolors. So not sponsored. Scarlet Nymph is just a personal friend of mine and I love their products. So, um, not, not a sponsorship, just a, just a friend. I'm going to put a little purple under the hair so that when I paint the hair over it, there won't be any white. Because that would be weird. Yeah, it took me a minute to realize, wait a second, I'm going to be using the palette so it'll look really ugly on screen, but I want people to see how pretty it is when you get it. <laughs> so I just uh, made a little short video. Keep hitting my coffee cup. underneath just to cut the white out. I'm a little verklempt because of the all the different weird stuff going on so sorry I'm a little quiet. Helpful says, I love the raven stamp. It's such a cute idea to stamp the top of your, um, of your paint. Is it beginner friendly? Hmm. I would say the ones with the smaller, um, mica powders work just like regular watercolor. The ones with the big chunky glitter, that's more of a specialized paint. Oops, I forgot to put some skin tone on her neck. Let's give it a little shadow. So a little bit darker over here. Go. 
Jen says, where can we get that? There's a link in the description underneath the stream. Hi, Moira. So Bewitching says, I have some of her watercolors. They are lovely and beautiful to work with. Yay. The ones I really, um, the ones I really like are the color shift. Like this, you can see on camera, it looks green, but it's really brown. So it's a brown green color shift. It's hard to explain. You have to just, you just have to see it. This one is kind of a color shifting green. Brown as well. So what you see on screen is maybe a little more green and what I see from my angle might be a little bit more brown. So as the painting moves, the colors change. I think kids have a lot of imagination and a certain color doesn't mean a certain thing to them. So they might actually have a better time with these paints than adults do if um, you have a set, like a less set mindset. It can be whatever you want it to be. Yeah, so on screen it looks a little bit more green than what I see is a little bit more brown from my angle. Rutherine says, I can't wait to sh show all the rest of the year. Right now I'm on July in production. Yes, she has already given me the first several months worth of palettes. So we have a uh, Kuan Yin coming up next month. The theme for um, the month of February is going to be love and compassion. So I thought she would be perfect. I've decided to have a theme word for each month this year. Not all of the goddesses will match up to the theme word, but sometimes they do. Okay. The next step I think is going to be starting um, into some of the base colors for the wolf and for the ravens. I want to use kind of a neutral black just to start, get my base in. This is a neutral black tint. It looks really pale right now, but we're going to build it up. It just takes uh, sticking with the whole stream to see how it ends up.
I like to use a lot of water and make it kind of pale to start because if you get too much black in there to start out then you, you there's nowhere to go Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Remember how I promised uh, pictures of my Christmas tree to show you all the ornaments that we made on the tree? And I never actually posted those on social media, even though I said that I would. So I snapped some quick pictures today. And I thought I would just pop them on stream. So at least I kind of followed through with what I said I would share. <laughs> Helpful Natural says, I have eyeshadows like that with the color shifting shimmer, shimmer. And Red Lorraine says, yes, I use the same mica base as used in cosmetics. It's like makeup for your painting. Jen asks, do you have sketches of the goddesses available for download? No, I don't. I just, I just painted over my only sketch. Maybe I should have scanned her first. Yeah, maybe I'll do that for the next one. That's a great idea. I'm just going to take a drop of this pink and just dot the lips. It's got it's got the glitter in it. It's the pink from the set. So I don't want it to be too She's not a she's not a glamour goddess. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit of a brown started on this uh, on the wall. I don't know you guys it's like um should I should I provide scans of these or is it is it nice that my pen pal patrons get something that nobody else has because this is what becomes my pen pal card so I'm not sure if you're a pen pal patron would you want like an exclusive, <laughs> does that even matter? Okay, we're getting some brown in there. It's starting to have a little bit of shadows. I don't want to go too far. So I corner the eye darkness and maybe give him yellow eyes.
Tracy says, I'm such a fan of your channel. Your voice is so soothing. Thank you so much. Tracy says, your voice got me through many nights of not being able to sleep during my pregnancy this last year. I'm eternally grateful. Oh, that's so great to hear. also be using some of um, be using a black pen to fill in some of this later like his nose I'm going to give it a little bit of a, like a, a black I'm going to use some of the matte black from the palette but um, this is you know I don't want to go too strong so I'll probably use a black pen at the end The black from the palette is really deep. So I'm going to be building it up. And it's nice and flat. So I'm going to be building up a flat black layer on my crows and then I'm going to use the green from the palette which is kind of an emerald but it has a, a iridescence to it because you know how raven feathers sometimes have that green iridescence. I want to add that on top at the end. so much darkness that we lose our our animal like I'll probably make his eye um, a dark black as well Lisa asks, how long have I been painting? Oh my gosh. Um, you mean trying to do it on stream in front of people? Um, a couple of years now. I'm all self-taught. I would love to take some classes, though. I just try to um, draw what I see. I, I get some inspiration art, and then I, I try to draw what I see.
Both of these crows have totally different personalities, don't they? This one seems a lot happier. This guy seems a little confused. I'm not sure. So apologies, I have to run to the restroom. I will be right back. Oh, apologies for the interruption. I wanted to switch out my chair as well. Both of my chairs squeak, but one of them squeaks more. Somehow I ended up in the more squeaky one. So one of the palettes, this is, I've kind of destroyed it, but you can kind of see one of them is a red in the palette and one of them is kind of a brown color but the brown has a little bit of red to it you can't really tell when i put them in the palette what they actually look like so So this actually ends up with a little bit of a shimmer in it as well. I kind of like that reddish pink though. I'm going to add a little bit more of that into this side as well. This is going to be a greeting card. So this bottom portion is actually going to be cropped away. So some of the messy strokes 
won't be that visible. Okay, we'll let that dry and see how light or dark it stays. Hi, Crafty Lini. She says, hello, lovelies. Better late than never. I'm so happy to make it. I'm actually going really slow. So we just kind of, I feel like we almost just started, even though we didn't. <laughs> Wonderland Red says, your shading, oh, sorry, your shading and color building is amazing being self-taught. Oh, I'm just trying to be really careful. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in the eyes. I want golden eyes if we can. And I feel like I missed some of the background yellow in a few of these spots down at the bottom. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit of yellow here and try to build that in. I guess I wasn't really sure if like maybe the wolf was going to cover that. Maybe it should be covering that. I don't know. I always feel like I can go in later with Photoshop and fix anything that I've messed up. So, um, you know, always have that fallback of whatever happens on stream happens on stream, and then we can fix it before it goes to the printer. I find with watercolors, the best thing to do is just start light and work to dark, even though it's really hard for me to do that because I want to do my main subject first, and that's usually the darkest thing. So I always trick myself into going backwards and then trying to fiddle it, <laughs> fiddle the lighter colors in. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Oh, hi, Fern. Welcome. Fern says, I can't wait. I got to order one of your planners today and I'll get it on Saturday. That's cool. Which planner did you order? Okay, let's start looking at her hair. Hi, Crafty Lini. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, let's not do her hair because I'm too scared to do it. Let's do instead, we have the spear here. I think the hair is going to be the last thing. to get a very pale background in for this guy then we'll build this color up too start with a little bit of brown in there keep hitting my coffee cup with my uh <laughs> with my paintbrush in so that's the dinging you hear really need to move that oh here's another cool thing that i got for Christmas, I got a set of two of these. They're meant to be for hot plates, but I thought they would be really fun to film things on for my videos. They're also like great coasters. Okay, I'm gonna get with a smaller brush. 
brush and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start in with eyebrows. I'm gonna work up to the hair, I'm too scared. Okay, I'm gonna go into the real black for the eyebrows instead of the, the neutral tone. Okay, I wanted to do a little bit of dark on the face like that, and now I'm gonna try and remove a little bit of it with paper. I'm hoping it just looks like a shadow. Hmm. I think maybe I took too much off. Should we give her a smoky eye? some pre-hair shadowing. If you're afraid to do the hair, you can always just do the pre-hair shadows. And then eventually it'll just become hair. Helpful natural husband came from his workout, then ate dinner. I'm back. All right. We've been goofing around. We haven't gotten that far. Been a little nervous to start the hair, but we're doing it now. We're going to just dig into that really flat black from the goddess palette, and we're going to do it. to be going in with a bigger brush on this for sure. Oof, and too tentative. This is much too tentative. I need to actually be doing it. And just do it and just do it. You just did it and then you just did it. So these are the <laughs> these are the things you say to yourself as you as you try and do hair. <laughs> There's a kitty coming. Oh no. I think you guys are going to meet my little kitty I'm taking care of. 
No, no, no. Right on the, right on the painting. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oof. Down and out with you. Have we ever had a such a chaotic stream? Oh, ciao. What a mess. You guys, I want to show you um, real quickly what my Christmas tree looked like. Because remember I told you I would, I would show you. Ooh kitty cat so you guys will see the um the cat that just jumped on and walked on my painting her name is lovely lovey and we're taking care of her for the holidays and then you'll also see a picture of my kitty who is named noelle and she's a ginger and you will also see just some of the ornaments that we made on stream for the uh, in december so let me do a quick little thing where I show you that. So. So that is little lovey. Make her a little bit bigger. And just a few little close-ups of some of the ornaments that we made. And um, some of the ones that I made off of stream as well. So there's a few extras in there that you guys <laughs> haven't seen yet. And that is Noelle. That's my little girl. She's a beauty. And she's just as sweet as she looks. Cherise says the kitty uh, reminded Cherise that she needs to feed the kitties to be right back. Lisa says my Siamese kitty must walk on all my projects. She also shows her butt to everyone I talk to on Zoom. <laughs> oh. Moon is here. Hi, Heidi. Ho, everyone got home in time for the live stream and then had to get the kitten settled. All right. So that's so I guess we're back to the beginning here. So yep, there's Lovey. So anyway, that that was my tree this year. It's still up because my friend hasn't made it back from um, their trip and we so we're gonna celebrate another Christmas. <laughs> okay. Back to this. Unfortunately, now my camera sees a face because we filled in the face, so it's going to have that frame on there now. Oh, hey, I wanted to... Oh, Moon says you're con considering adopting another kitten. Do it. You'll never regret it. I have never regretted a single kitty I've ever adopted, even the ones who were seniors and didn't stay around very long. 
We gave them the best life we could for as long as we could. As long as they had, I should say. My biggest concern with these um, cards that I'm making, I'm hoping that they all come out looking like a set. I hope that they all have the same kind of a, a style to them so it feels like they were all done by the same artist and they look like a set. Having said that, I want to do them all in the different styles of the different cultures <laughs> of the goddesses. So I feel like that's impossible to make them look like a set because you know if I do something in kind of that Viking style and then I do something in the Egyptian style and then there's the Greek the Greek uh, look to their artwork and so I'm a little bit torn I guess I should just see how they turn out one way or the other. But I think if you go into something with a of a strong idea of what you want it to be, it turns out better rather than just letting the universe decide for you. So I'm a little bit torn on how I should proceed. Sometimes artwork comes out better if you just let the universe decide though. Art is a little different than other projects. But I don't know, I look at the movie directors that have really strong visions and really very specific looks to what they do. And, you know, I'm just impressed with that. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did hair. We did it. <laughs> it's a miracle. Lisa says, I find it interesting that Mercury is in retrograde and YouTube is having its troubles today. I thought I read somewhere that Mercury is in retrograde more often than we think. Like it's quite often in retrograde. More often in retrograde than not? Is Did I read that somewhere? Did anybody watch the um, the Tolkien um, miniseries on Amazon Prime? That's an example of somebody having a clear vision of exactly how they wanted everything to look and forcing forcing it to their will. 
And it came out spectacularly, I have to admit. You can't see me doing the feet. Lisa says, maybe if you had one small object in each picture. Well, one of the things I'm going to do to um, give it some cohesion is every single one of them is going to be in a, in a frame. They may not all be oval frames like this one, but they'll all be in frames. So that will, so they will have a cohesive look that way. Okay, is it time to bring out the, the fancy green to put on the feathers, or should I go darker with these guys? I feel like I keep layering and layering, which is good, but it's also eventually you get to a point where you need to stop, and I never really know where that point is. Get a smaller brush and do some little hair. happy with this so far. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to put some red trees in the background. We have this amazing red in the palette. This is that center one. Whoop, there we go, that center one. And I'm going to see if I can't give it like a brownish red. A few little trees back here. Starting with some lines, you know, cold, total Bob Ross style here.
Moon says, Fern, I have seen several cases where the man says no, and when they get the pet, he's the one who babies it the most. Facts, 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 facts. Preach it. That is the truth, and that is what will happen. You go, girl. So the idea is, I feel like we wanted, to, I didn't want to try and do a battlefield because I didn't, I wasn't confident in my ability to portray a battlefield, but I thought red trees might make it feel like, you know, a battle or at least give the feeling of like a forest, something's going on back here. Crafty Lini says, so true. My mom brought home a puppy. My dad was not happy about it. Now he's never away from her. My hubby is the kitty whisperer. No matter how hard I try to be the one, he's always the one. I want to be the one that gets the love. And then we just fade out to some unknown red, whatever's happening. We don't know. Nobody look here. It's not anything for you to be worried about. The end. Now let's try the other side. I hope this hasn't dried too much. Oh, too much water. Too much water. Okay. 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 Start over. It's okay. We're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> Red Lorraine says, the crow on the right looks like he's checking me for treats. <laughs> Happy little red trees. Yes, Moon, we're going full on Bob Ross style here. It's wrecked until it's fixed. And then it's saved. Happy trees. Happy accidents. That's what this stream's about. Big Bob Ross energy here today. Glenn Claybaugh says, up until the last two, I hesitated. The last two, though, no hesitation at all. Someone said, there's a cat who needs a home, and we both said, where are they? I'm adding a little bit of red into the red, you know, for red. Let's see, we're gonna go to about there. So maybe we need another tree. And then we get down to the bottom and we just do a little bit of something, something. Don't ask any questions, it's all fine. I'll blend in, little blendy blends. <laughs> 
Maha, hey, you're here. This is beautiful. Just dropping in to say hi. I sadly can't hang out with you magical people. I'm on a tight deadline. Have a blessed evening. Bye, Maha. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Moon says, when you're the one, they follow you everywhere and you almost step on them five times a day. Hi, Jill. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Your van broke down. A heavy kitchen sink and a tow truck driver with ADH street. Oh, no. Moon says crows attack on my bird feeders when they come through and steal all the bird food from the finches. Really? That's too bad. You would think they wouldn't be that interested. So that makes me feel like this should be purple and red up here. Because kind of, we got this whole purple and red thing going on. Let's try it. Let's let that dry and see what we think. Let's do some more on our crows here. Kind of have this greenish um, metallic that I wanted to put in. We are starting to almost get there.
When this dries, I'll show you guys the color shifty, metallic-y part of it. I know I have little scritchy scratches on the door because my kitty wants dinner. <laughs> Okay, starting to get there. Now, I want to look at this. I want to look at this wolf because he just seems a little like he needs something. I don't want to go too dark. I do feel like maybe I went a little too dark on the nose there, huh? Okay. Let's pull it a little bit up. Puppy needs more depth. Looks a little flat for sure. I totally agree with that. Just afraid. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a sepia. I think I got to do this slowly. I think the ravens are coming alive, but I think they'll look even better when they have um, a black pen outline. For sure. Sometimes my husband is listening to this stream and if today is one of those days, please feed the cat so they can stop scratching on the door. Help me.
Yay. It worked. My plea to the kitty feeding gods has been answered. So realizing that the card will actually get cut off a little closer. Some of this is actually going to be not shown anymore. feel like she needs to have more purple in her hair and then more black in her hair. That way we just tint it and then put more black in so she doesn't look gray haired. Hey, I think that worked. So I learned that a wash is just a light bit of paint that you've put a bunch of water in that you put over your paper, but then a tint is over dried paint to make the painting more cohesive. I learned that on a TikTok and it worked. Once that dries, we'll put a little more black over it. I got a drip where I did not want to drip. Don't know if you guys can see the green that is more of a metallic now in the Raven feathers. And that's this, this green here in the corner. And now I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a bunch of water in this and soften up this glitter and put some glitter on there too. That'll take a second to soften up though. Oh, I forgot to paint in my little branches down here.
And the other thing that's down here is the spear. The haft of the spear, which is the same color as the tree. We will change that. Here we go. Oh, you know what I want to do? Change my mind about that leaf. I thought maybe since we have green, I mean, sorry, red trees, maybe we'll do little leaves on these branches that are red. Oops, sorry for the shake. cohesion. Here we go. How do we think about this wolf? He needs some he needs some lines, but other than that, I feel like we have a pretty good wolf. A little bit more black in the hair. I ran out of black, let's see here. Oh, I wanted to also recommend a show if you guys have, I believe it's Netflix. Just watched a show called Kaleidoscope. It's really interesting in that it was written to be viewed in any order, except for the final episode. All of the other episodes will play in a random order. So it can be viewed. Any episode can be watched in any order, if that makes sense.
and it's so much fun to watch knowing that and then trying to figure out like what would it have been like if I'd seen this one first and I didn't know what I found out in the last one. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do that. What are we going to do with this top thing? I really didn't anticipate using so much purple, but I feel like I'm kind of committed to the purple now. It's one of those limited series, so you're only committing to, I think it's eight or nine episodes. tint it purple and then pull a little bit away let that dry and then I think maybe try to go in with this shiny green because I want to kind of it's the only place I've used the shiny green so I want to kind of co coordinate that while we're waiting for that to dry I think what I'm going to do is maybe put a little bit more of this yellow in the background Just a few spots I feel like are too white. Jill asks, has an earthquake ever in interfered with my work? No, it's kind of a myth to um, think that earthquakes happen all the time in California. Um, when they do happen, we rarely feel them. And when we do feel them, we just get curious and look that up on the internet as to how, oops, how, how, how strong it was. But it's not anything that, um, that really interrupts stuff. There's been a few where I've like stepped outside because they went on for a certain amount of time. And I'm like, okay, so that's still going. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe I'll stand in a doorway. Okay, maybe I'll go in the yard. But that's maybe happened a few times in my life. Fern says, I've been cleaning 75 hagstones today. Jill says, we're all mad here, so you're among friends. That's so true. Therese says, I feel I don't have any like-minded people around me. Jill says, this is, that's why we're all here, Sharice. This is our soul tribe. Absolutely. I love, I love these live streams. I love chatting with all of you. I, I do a better job of chatting, I think, when I'm doing a craft rather than a painting. So I feel like the second live stream of the month when I do crafting rather than painting is a little bit more chatty because painting really takes all my focus. So it's kind of hard to read and, um, paint and chat. Sometimes I have to allow you to chat amongst yourself. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I just feel like her hair never feels dark enough. 
just feel like I keep putting more and more in. I don't want to overdo it. Anyway, the show Kaleidoscope is a heist film. It's all about a heist, but it moves around in time. So you get to know the, the story from like a non-linear perspective. So if you see the, if you see the episodes one way, you understand why this person is so loyal. But if you saw the episodes another way, you would wonder why is this person so loyal until you saw the episode that explains, you know, how they got to meet or that kind of stuff. So it's really interesting to think that you watch it in a totally different way than another person saw it. Everyone sees the same thing, but everyone sees something different. I mean, the story itself is okay. I would not say that it was super fulfilling as far as the ending went. Kind of maybe wish it went a little differently, but I'm always wishing people wrote things differently than they write them. But, but I just love the idea of it, the concept. Because it moves back and forward in time. That's why they can, that's how they get away with any episode. Okay, I'm going to stop with the hair. I think I've gone too far. I think we've got just enough. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. My napkin. It's not the most attractive look. Ooh, her. Is her face too pale? What do we think about her face? Jill says, I wondered about how the minor tremors would affect anything. I've never lived in an area with anything, with any. Nope, it doesn't really affect our lives. I'm more worried about the camera shaking just because I've touched it. <laughs> Jill says, I've done hurricanes and tornadoes and blizzards. See, I am way more afraid of a hurricane or a blizzard or a tornado, any of those things. Yeah, I, I lived in Indiana for a couple of years. Um, not right directly in Tornado Alley, but yeah, we've, we, had, we had a basement and a place to go and all that. And born and raised in San Diego, so that was terrifying. The first time we ever had to shelter from a tornado, I was like, what's happening? Why do we even live here? I'm going to try with this green-brown shift. Ooh, me likey. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I like it. I'm going to put some on the spear. What do you guys think? Is that crazy? Ooh, I like it. This blade will cut. You feel like the frame needs a nice dark 
um, ink line around it to kind of make, make it pop out from the background. So I'll do that with a pen. Her face needs a little bit of pen. Jill says, draw in thick black strands with a pen for hair to add depth. Absolutely, 100%. But do you feel like her face is a little pale? Helpful Natural says, Tornadoes you can get away from. Earthquakes, there's no place to run. Tornadoes you have to run from. Earthquakes you do not. You just keep sitting in your couch and watching your show. I promise. I promise. Northridge was like, I don't want to age myself, but many, many years ago, I remember the Northridge quake, and that is like the only destructive quake I can think of in the last 20 years in California. I'm not talking about other countries because there have been some crazy things happen in other countries, but I'm just talking about California. Fern says, we got half our town blown away in 2011. Watch the whole thing. See? Red Lorraine says, I will take 100 earthquakes over one tornado. You probably have been in 100 earthquakes. Little mini, little mini ones that we don't even feel. I don't know. How often do we have earthquakes? I'm afraid to, um, I'm afraid to darken her face, but I, I want to. Pagan Crafting is here. Hi. Should I just leave it? Are we good? Have I gone too far? Have I gone far enough? I mean, obviously there'll be pen. Oh, I love that metallic. I'm glad I added it to the spear too. I feel like I want to put some in the yellow and then put the yellow and put it on the eyes too. So it has like that little metallic glow, like when eyes, Let's see if I can do that. Kind of turned it a little brown though. No drop of water. No. I think we're going to finish up with, let's see if I can get this to focus, focus, some of this glitter, oh yeah, it's gooey, I put some water on it so it would get gooey, waited some time, you got to wait some time on these sometimes, let's get it, let's get the glitter witch going on. Oh, hey guys, I wanted to uh, also say, remember how I promised you a retrospective video of all of the shrines we did last year? I have not forgotten that. And we filmed it. I We got all the shrines together and filmed it yesterday. But the video itself will come out in February. I don't want these giant pieces. There we go. Some of the little ones. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. That is gorgy gorge. That's always the artist question. Am I done? Yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> 1000%. And I usually overwork everything. Look at this paint. Buy this paint palette. You will love it. While it doesn't have a lot of neutrals, it has a lot of bold colors. And that's probably good because it's steamed to the Morgan, you know? Mm -hmm. 
I think we need to take this one giant, this one giant glitter out. It's too much. There we go. Look at that. I love it. A little bit more over here. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, before I take it too far, I'm going to say that I'm done. Of course, the inking will happen off of stream, so if you want to see what the final artwork was, you need to become a pen pal patron and you'll get a greeting card with the Morrigan. Wow, look at those wings. And now I want to put glitter in her hair. Stop me. Tell me no. Maybe I'll put the pen on this and then I'll scan it. And then I'll put glitter in the hair and I'll scan it and I'll use the one that I like the best for the card. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That way, just in case the glitter messes up the hair, I'll have both versions <laughs> as I'll fall back. Oh, and you guys, look at my piece of wood. If you weren't here at the beginning, I have to say, this was my Christmas present, and I love my new background. It's so pretty. And I love the fact that it's not shiny, so my lights aren't glaring. You can see the lights are glaring on this ceramic here. This was so fun. I love that the camera actually sees that it's a face and like does the little face thing. I forgot what our craft is going to be next time. Oh, in bulk crafts for in bulk because in bulk is on the 1st of February. So on our January, our second January live stream, which is the third Wednesday of the month, we're going to do Imbolc crafts. And I want to do a goat's milk soap. It'll be a melt and pour that we'll do on stream. So that'll be interesting because we haven't tried to do uh, <laughs> any kind of cooking. <laughs> and then the other thing that we're going to do is a milk bath soak. So we'll put herbs and milk and make a bath soak. So those will be the two crafts that are going to happen next stream. And that will be the third Wednesday of the month. Is that the 18th? I think whatever day it's going to be at 4 PM Pacific. So I hope you will all tune in next time. And if you want to get this as a pen pal card you can become a pen pal patron at the link below the stream and if you want to pick up the amazing morgan paint palette there is a 25 percent off code below the stream as well tj i'm just ending up oh no valerie says more glitter in her hair i'm gonna try it both ways I just have to be safe. I can't ruin it because it's got to go out as everybody's card. The new wood makes the painting stand out. Absolutely. So hopefully I will be able to chat a little bit more next stream because I won't be so focused on painting and I'll be able to like read the chat a little bit better and chat uh, verbally a bit better as well. So I hope you enjoyed this stream. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys on the flippity flop. Thank you. Good night.